ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a little Trivial Pursuit action. If you guys didn't see last week's episode, I in fact lost. Guys, it's coming down right now between Skip and I. Who is going to win? He is beating me in points technically, but it only comes down to wins these categories, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. What? Thanks to all our contestants for playing. We'll see you next time on Trip. For the first time in my life to AI, if you're unfamiliar with the series, this is where I beat the living shit out of opponents that are virtual. And guess what, guys? I lost to AI on a normal difficulty last week here. And that AI was skipped, so I am coming back to get my revenge. Now, if you guys don't know this... That right there is the quiz whiz. That right there, that beautiful glass little girl with the red hair is the quiz whiz. And Mackenzie cheated on her, okay? History. Mackenzie cheated on her, Skip beat her ass last week, and this week is revenge time. Nobody's coming for the throne. What French president said, How can you govern a country which has 246 varieties of cheese? Not even a French accent. I went straight for some sort of weird Spanish accent. I don't know. Sarkozy sounds great. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Is it Chirac? Is it De Gaulle? I don't know. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, Skip. Somebody's been studying up yet again. Still wearing that Letterman jacket, though, because you gotta let everybody know your third year into college that you're still living in your past after you tore your ACL and lost all hope to go to a full ride at a four-year university. Skip, I really hope you find your dad soon, because we both know he wasn't there for you, was he? Okay, entertainment here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my redemption week. This is my time to shine, to come back. What is the name of the fictional penitentiary in the hit series, Orange is the New Black? Litchfield. Hey! Sorry, boys. I love the show. I watch it. Litchfield is in upstate New York. Bang, bang. How many points did I get here? 300. Me, Duncan, Skip. One thing you guys might know about Duncan is that is actually his natural hair color. Uh, he fell into a vat of honey as a small child and it dyed all of it blonde. I don't know how he escaped. Uh, Winnie the Pooh was actually waiting for him as soon as he jumped out. It was a crazy fist fight. Winnie broke both of his mittens. It was nuts. The Kremlin pictured here is at the heart of what European capital city. Oh, I'm choking here. The Kremlin? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my... Oh, my lord. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, look at the other right! This is the Moscow. The Kremlin is the home to cathedrals, palaces, and museums. I don't know why I want to go into a Christopher Walken every single time, but I do, and I want to move my body like this. <laughs> All right, here. What popular swimwear manufacturer, whose name has become synonymous with racing briefs, was established in 1914? I would say Hurley, because that's what they call my. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna go with Speedo. They should call me Slow, though. You know why? <clears throat> Because uh, because I can't run very fast, unfortunately. Looks like we got that right, except for Mackenzie here, who uh, apparently is... Uh, I, I don't even know what to say about her right now. She's wearing a mini skirt with boots that don't match. I really don't understand who's picking out her outfits. Not to mention that uh, her dad pays for everything for her because she's a spoiled... Spoiled bitch! Okay, alright, so I'm going to pick uh, geography. Definitely didn't want arts and literature. I don't like uh, colors and painting here. I just see shapes and I... And I hear colors. Where were many of Hollywood's classic westerns filmed? Oh my goodness. Mojave Desert, Park City. I'm going to go with Park City. Why not? In Utah? I have no idea. It's probably Sedona. It's Sedona. I just wanted to click Park City. The Red Rock landscape in this Arizona town offered a striking setting. That's actually where I bought my summer home. That's where I could stay out there with Ralph. He's an accountant from Minnesota. I met at an online dating site called... <clears throat> So, sports and leisure, baby. Here we go. Skip, of course, you're going to pick up the Letterman Jack and what looks like a wannabe Pokemon hat from Ash Ketchum. How many single squares are there on a chessboard? Oh, my goodness. I'm really not for sure. I don't know how many there are. It might be like uh, 48. Is it 32? I don't know. I've never looked at a chessboard before. It's 64. All right. Good to know. Skip said... Uh, that there's also a riddle asking how many unique squares you can make with a chessboard. It's 204. Interesting. Good to know here. A skip just proved even further and further that by pressing random buttons, nice wearing a t-shirt with SpongeBob SquarePants on his shirt, that he can still, in fact, win games. Uh, also, want to point out that he's cross-eyed, and his stepfather is the mayor of Dumbtown. So history from McKinsey selected the category. Let's go ahead and read the next question here. What is the U.S. federal government's highest-paying job? Interesting. Not president. Is it a senator? 
I'm gonna go with the Supreme Court Justice because they gotta make some some shady ass. It's the president. 400k a year is the highest pre. I knew that before he even said the dollar amount. I figured that Supreme Court Justice should be making some bank, even though the president's the head. I just that's the simplest question of all time that I thought was overly trick. Okay, well, you know, it's a good thing I have this stool, because I'm going to need something to jump off of uh, with a noose, just to make sure that uh, I can't miss any more questions like that. Duncan, select a category here. Please be history of how my hair became this way and why you're wearing a jacket with flames on it. All right, good to know here. What substance did Louis Pasteur make safe for us to drink? It's going to be the milk. The milk is the safer to drink when you drink the milk milk from the booby. So, yeah, wow. Syrup and fruit juice. <laughs> Got him! Dumbasses. All right, he developed the pasteurization process. Good to know. Give Skip that wedge here as he's going to have an advantage. Oh, my goodness. Those shorts actually are to cover up, uh, you know, his small penis. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Let's get it going. Trivial Pursuit live. Ladies and gentlemen, second place here thus far for Quiz Wiz. Yeah, throw it for it. Yeah. Wait, I'm third? Wow. Okay, I'm losing to Duncan and Skip who have actually... Both been cheating for the entire duration here. I, I honestly am so ashamed of my existence right now that I, that I can't even believe that this is a reality for me. Uh, Duncan, I'm really glad. I'm really glad for you right now. Super glad. Good thing uh, when you walk around, it looks like you're on fire with those shitty, shitty sleeves. Let's go ahead and pick it here. Grab bag. This is going to be exciting. Let's keep going. Blitz, baby, blitz. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby. All right, guys, this is where I make the comeback here. I've just been joshing you guys the whole time. McKinsey, select a category. How about makeup products and belts? I really like belts. Um, like, belts. Belts, belts, belts. Which of these songs were originally recorded by the Beatles? I don't know anything about the Beatles. This is terrible. Oh, no. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye when I say hello. Hello, hello. And that's actually my Beatles Im Im impersonation here. Come together right now. Over me. There it is. It looks like Legion's going to be taking the lead. Extraordinary. Which of these names are actors on the TV series The Big Bang Theory? Bazinga. Amy Farrah Fowler's on there. Wow! That's the name of a... What? Oh, no, it's Jim Parsons who plays Sheldon and Kaylee Cuoco. Wow. Honestly, somebody please bring over a kazoo and play it in my ears until I go deaf. I just clicked their in-character names. Uh, if I could pull my eyeballs out right now and put them in a glass, I would. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pick again? I gotta pick again? <gasps> no! I forgot, I thought when you get it wrong, you don't get a pick anymore here, but apparently we all got it wrong off the get-go. Not my fault. Wow, wow. Let me just, honestly, there it is. Just choke it up, baby. Which of these TV series were produced by Nickelodeon? I got this. Got it. Get it. Get it good. Got it good. When I get it, because I get it good, I be doing what I can when I do what I did. Sometimes I hide alone in my room and shit, and it's kind of weird, <clears throat> because I don't, I can't control it. It's like one of the, that's why I'm sponsored by Depend now. It's a... It's a really long... I, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I've never heard of Invader Zim. I'm sorry. I've never heard of it. I'm going to click it. Planet Sheen? Was, was that a spinoff here? <laughs> Got him! Taking him out to dinner this time, ladies and gentlemen. Legion and Duncan are tied with three red J's. As I pronounced, it's wedge A's, not wedges. Which of these names are characters from the TV series House? Oh my goodness. Never watched the show in my entire life. I honestly have never watched it. Let's go ahead and pick Allison Cameron. Because that sounds like a name of somebody that I've never heard of before. Sounds really good here. Lisa Cuddy. Kid Cuddy's little sister. Remy Hadley sounds like a made-up name. Got it. Get him. Get it good. Get it great. Get it great. Great, great, great. It's a great white shark mixture right now. Listen, I'm on fire right now. The quiz whiz is going in, getting it in, sliding, writing, gliding, opening up her mouth and biting. That's just what we got to do here. Arts and literature. Really, Mackenzie? You don't pick entertainment again? You pick that? Last time you tried to make a drawing, it just turned out to be a stick figure. And it still somehow made it on the hall of the art gallery. Which of these books were written by Charles Dickens? Charles Dick. Dickens. Dickinson. Charlie Dick. What's your name? Charlie Dick. Okay, Mansfield Park. 
I don't know. I think a Christmas carol is written by him, but I'm not quite for sure. The Tash of Dabbevilles. I'm gonna click that one because I've never heard of it. All right, got it wrong. And of course, Mackenzie gets Little Dorrit right because she just goes for anything uh, that it doesn't make any sense at all. Bleak House, the old curiosity shop. Fun fact about Charles Dickens, he was actually a cocaine addict who lived in the shelter in a small town in the Ukraine. So anyways, let's go ahead and do this trivial pursuit going down to the final round, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like your boy, rich homie Laquan, has finally made it back here. The beatdown has got to be on the skipster as Duncan has once again proven that he cannot handle the heat even though he's wearing flames. <sighs> I got to get two pie pieces here, two little puzzle pieces as they pronounce it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the series, don't forget about the giant meter that actually comes down and kills not only everybody in the audience, but everybody in that skyline here. There it is. There it is. Every time I see it, it reminds me of what it was beforehand. Every single time. It's 4.30 in the morning, by the way, while I'm recording this. So you take your guess on what's going on in my life. Science and nature is going to be the category and the choice here. Can be found swimming in fresh water. I'm definitely going to go with piranhas. Probably not piranhas. It's piranhas. Thank you, Duncan, for being a dumbass. Let's go ahead and get our hands out there. Let them know what's up. Uh, great white shark, though, in fact, will be your best friend. Or a member of the family. Tarasida. I'm going to go with piranhas again because I'm not for sure if there's a part of it, but it's probably what Tarasida is. Probably shark. Look at that. Look at me collecting those pieces. Skip, you can suck my ass. Got to win this game right now. Skip backwards is actually picks, uh, which is what he's going to have to do. He's going to pick up all the pieces of his life uh, whenever he goes in a uh, very, very long alcoholic binge after losing to me here. Used nonviolence as a form of protest earlier in 1915. Mohandas Gandhi. Wow, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was playing games with dumbasses. <laughs> Ever heard of the 60s? Ever heard of the 60s? Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Hold on, can I just, can I just point, can I put both fingers out? And then just thrust it out, just like a little bit, and like, just kind of like a little rubbing and stuff like that? And then actually, I just, I gotta do this. You know what this is? This is me pointing to Skip's dad in the crowd, letting him know what a failure his son is. <laughs> Not this time, Skip. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and uh share this with one friend put it on their facebook page their twitter account their instagram their myspace if you're a weirdo that still has that let them know what's going on on richard with the quants page in the trivial pursuit tuesdays which is now on wednesdays thursdays whatever day of the week it's a fun video series to be a part of thank you so much for watching and be sure to have a great day yeah! oh!